I was gonna give you some, but I ran out. I already had some. Mm. Mm. Oh. Let's try it, it's good. What's up, y'all? Um, oh, I'm gonna spill some gummy out. Uh, welcome to E League Super Punch, powered by two. Which? Oh, it's your boy, Ify Waddy Way, aka Ifties. Here with Wham, Wham City's Robbie. How you doing? As a reminder, uh, Friday show, 11 p.m. Eastern, uh, with the TBS folks, Kelly, Alex, JD, next week, 12 a.m. on TBS, tbs.com, TBS app, 11 a.m. We'll be starting on Twitch. Stay in the chat so you can talk. Let's talk. Let's, let's talk. Yeah. I'm so excited. I'm, you know, just... It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, such a remarkable time to be here with you. No, I'm, I'm, and uh, it's such an honor. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, I, I have, uh, I've had so much trouble um, lately just sort of trying to figure out ways to express myself. And the fact that you have put your uh, faith in me and invited me here is, it means quite, quite a lot. Not only do I put my faith in you, I got you ready for a super quiz. I like. Ah. I also like to hit um, the the countertops. Yeah, you got You got Get the fist. Can I? Yeah, go ahead. Slap that. Woo! 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 That's what I'm talking about. Ah, uh, real wood. Yeah, that's that's good wood. Mm. Super quiz. Aww. Super quiz. Will you explain to me what this, this, uh... So I heard you know the most about video games. And I didn't believe it. So I cooked up a quiz right here. These are all questions. And chat will be playing along too. Chat, there, you see them right there. They're gonna, mm. they're gonna be trying to compete with you. Okay. Uh, but if you get 10 right, I got a treat for you. Can they use that to um, mo uh, to make fun of me? Yeah, yeah, they, they oftentimes do that to me. But you know, if you just ignore them and imagine them all naked, that's what I do. Everyone who chats, I don't even think they're human. I think they're anime women with buxom. I think they're just animals. All right, well, let's get this quiz started. Question number one. What was the first Sonic game to be released on the GameCube? I want to say it's Sonic Adventure. Um, and I know that there's... Uh, I know that Sonic Adventure and Sonic Adventure 2 were on there. I want to say it's called Sonic Adventure DX, but I do think there's a slight chance I could be wrong that Sonic Adventure 2, for some reason, was released first. You are correct. Sonic Adventure 2 was released first. Sonic Adventure 2, battle! Yeah! I think that's, uh, I think that was an incorrect choice on the part of the people that Oh. Brought um, Sonic to. Uh, oh, yeah, because you locked in Sonic Adventure and then said it could be the right answer. So, yeah, yeah, clear that. Thank you. No, I think the people at Sega oh. made the incorrect. <laughs> oh, definitely. Uh, I think people were confused. Sonic Adventure 2 requires such generous leaps of logic on the part of the player. I find that Sonic Adventure DX eases people in, in a more comforting way. And also, perhaps, bridges 
the divide that was created when Sega and Nintendo were hardware rivals. Oh yeah, that was like the little peace offering. The little, they're like, but we're gonna give you the this one first. I don't think that they would think of it as a peace offering. Yeah. Question two. Name one of the first four games available for Sega Dreamcast when it was released. Just one of the first? One of the first four. Pin Pen Triathlon. Oh, you're correct. But the four games were... You said ju- one of the four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I said you're correct. You got the points. I'm just letting everybody know what the rest were. Also, I think you should have probably um, been a little bit more upfront with that question that you were talking about the Japanese release and not the American release? Oh, well, <laughs> you should have just uh, used a little something I like to call ocular cartography to see where I was coming from for that uh, question. Uh, if you use ocular cartography, you can use them in a quiz situation, yeah. and then that will let you know where I'm coming from. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. you got it right anyway, so who knows? Maybe you did use ocular cartography. Can you, re- can you answer a question? Uh, no, uh, because I have all the answers already, uh, and I want you answering them, because this makes me feel good. This is my love language, is this. Blue. <laughs> You're Touch. Cute. Touch is my love language. Too many people have said that's, yeah, obvious, um, which makes me worry about the way I interact with people. Um, question three, besides Sonic, which other Sega characters, which other Sega character was a playable character in Super Smash Bros. number four? Super Smash Bros. Number four, the fourth. I'm gonna go with the monkey from Super Monkey Ball. Ooh, that is incorrect. Chat, do you know who that is? I'm gonna need you to answer real quick because I don't Wait. want you Googling. Dr. Eggman? No. It was Bayonetta. Gokai Ch- Orange. Good job. Good job to you. Uh, we got stuck. Sometimes you got to get stuck to get loose. You know what I'm saying? I think there's a confusion that comes up a lot with Bayonetta because it's so similar in so many ways to so many Capcom games. Yeah. Is it, Bayonetta feels like a Devil May Cry type game. Yeah, I know. I've never actually played it, but um, like I've done a lot of research. Like I've been to uh, uh, what's it's uh, rule thirty four dot fail dot com. Uh, they had a lot of like content uh, to check out uh, with Bayonetta. Uh, next question: ah. Which actors played Mario and Luigi in the nineteen ninety three Super Mario Bros. movie? Uh, John Leguizamo and Bob Hoskins. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Nailed it. Where is that coming from? I just don't ask. I just don't ask. What's up, party god, Kevin? This next question is for you. This is a soccer-themed JRPG released in 2008 by Nintendo and developed by Level 5. 
Mm. Does it have the word kick in it? No. Then I don't know this. Okay. What if I told you it has a number in the title? I can't answer it. In a Zuma 11. You knew. Oh, hmm, prison. Human prison. Oh, human prison. Human prison. Good job. You got it. Do they get to choose their own names or do you choose them? Uh, they get to choose. That was someone made an uh, honest to God choice to name themselves human prison and they know about Inazuma 11. Do you feel like you um, proved something here? Uh, not yet. I'll have to finish this quiz first. That's why I'm asking the next question. What was the first rhythm-based video game ever released by Nintendo? Specifically a rhythm game. Yeah. And so like WarioWare would be. No. It's not. It's not rhythm heaven, is it? No. No, it's not. It's not elite feet. It's not. I'll give you the year. Okay. That'll Night help. 1987. 1987. Yeah. Okay. I mean... 1987. You know, I didn't own a console until 1993. So there is a fog there. Ah. And I think it's important for you to understand that so much time was spent alone focusing on very specific desires from what from what I, I needed from this genre. Video games yeah. as a genre. Yeah. Rhythm games, to me. The answer is dance aerobics. Uh, I'm not finished. Well, I am. Uh, good job, it's Migu. Next question. The peripheral device that could be used to connect two Game Boys was called what? There was a moment in the early DS lifespan where I felt like I could finally understand what was bringing people to rhythm games. Mm. And the fact was, was that at that time when I owned a DS, it was a, a time when my, I, I was just becoming independent financially. Mm. And the idea of taking a stick mm. and tapping it mercilessly mm. against the touch screen mm. in order to keep up with this mm. thing mm -hmm. that I wasn't even f on fully on board with yeah. was not something that I was willing to risk losing mm. the clarity of the second screen for. And when you ask me in this way about these rhythm games, all I can think of are the tight and soft movements I would make on the second screen when playing games like Castlevania, or the Order of Ecclesia, drawing runes, drawing spells, opening things with these very deliberate movements and the tapping 
you have to understand. And the answer was, was such, game I, I know it's a game like cable. cable. Okay, all right. Of course, anyone knows that. A child, a child born into this world this moment would know that. Oh, well, you got the point. You can string random words together and get that. Can you get this? Set in fictional plague-ridden industrial city of Dunwall, we follow the story of Corvo Atano, bodyguard to the Empress Dishonored. of the Osgum. All right, well. I mean, I tried to play Rhythm Heaven. Okay. I tried to play Elite Beat Agents. I tried to understand what the fuss was. Why, when I go into these arcades, these kids are, these acrobats, these uh, metahumans are able to flip around and find the spirit inside of themselves to do the things that they do to get the things, to get something out of it that I would never understand because I couldn't break into that sub genre, the rhythm game sub genre, because I couldn't risk losing my Nintendo DS's second screen. And if you don't know what that paranoia of loss feels like, then it... I'm with you, doggy. Man. My mom bought me that DS. It was the last gift that she asked, what do you want for your birthday? And I said, I want a Nintendo DS. My dad told me they don't have DSs in Nigeria, so I wasn't able to get one. Next question. Stardew Valley was created by Eric Barron as an alternative to which game? Harvest Moon. Easy peasy. All right, now we've got some picks for you. Uh, lots of good picks, uh, because I want to see how your eyes work. I, I learned how your mouth work right now, but I want to see how that eye. I, I, I was working. I was. Pull up the first pick. Feel like you're minimizing me. What game is that? Bad dudes. You got it right. It's bad dudes, y'all. Sh show it. Okay. Um, I mean, for all we know, that could be a dingly danger right there, but it's not. It's oh, not it's bad dudes. Yeah. Next game. Next picture. Yeah. What game is this from? You know, it's funny. You don't have to show me the year. It's funny, I have this game on so many different compilations, Genesis compilations. I mean, how did they get the Get the, get the penis past sensors. Like he's opening the door with the dang, you see it, right? With the what? And is that orange? Like you see he's got a, he's, what is he opening the door with? Explain to me what you see. I see a, a man with a big hog kicking open a door with that hog. Uh, thanks, Amy, for that sub. Uh, sorry, Ang always anxious, Amy. Uh, Why do you call it a hog? Because, you know, it, it makes you oink. Yeah. Mm. Do you want to know the name of the game? No, I think we should... Let's, let's move on. Uh, it's El Guapo is right. It's Bonanza Bros. Next game. <coughs> No, that's the same one. Okay. Okay. Um, Why don't you tell us about the hog? I, well, you know, it's, it's just, it, I'm, it's just dang, like, I've never seen an arm get that low. My arms stay up here. What about all the other hogs? I mean, those are clearly arms, because they're bent. You can't bend oh, it. yeah. What's this game? This is a tough one. Mm. 
I'm going to give Thank guesses, you. and you can tell me if I'm right. Is it the live-action Beauty and the Beast video game starring Ron Perlman? Is it... Which is distinct color palette. I'm getting cat's energy from it. I go, that, that, up top, that's a rum tum tugger if I've ever seen one. Splatterhouse meets Altered Beast. Ooh, I like that game. Which one? The one you just described. A lot of these. It's a very... Um, Don't have the ear for you. Isn't... Uh, I'll look it up. To me, this is not... Uh, what do you... What, would you if, you... if you had to guess, would you say this is a Sega Genesis game or a TurboGrafx game? Ooh, I'd say Sega Genesis. That's my guess. 1990 was the release date for Atharoon Gaming. Mm. Yeah, I, don't, I, I can't get this one. This Wrong year. Really one. Can you tell me what it is and tell me what system it's on? I'm, genu I'm genuinely. I'm gonna start I'm, with this. I'm gonna start I'm with genuinely this. curious. As I'm gonna this. start with the system and then see if maybe you knock, knock it out the park. I know, I'm not gonna be able to get this um, one because I. Uh... Well, it was directed by Clive Barker. Oh, wait. hold on. That's the. That's the film. Oh wait, this is. Uh... Keep wanting to say in humanoids. Um, it still came out in 1990. Um, it was on the Atari. Wait. When you said Clive Barker, yeah, that that set it up. Oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna. You're about to knock it out the park. I don't know if I'm gonna knock it out the park. Nightbreed. Yep, told you you'd knock it out the park. <laughs> Clive Barker, same movie. Uh, yeah. By the same name. Yeah. What was the <laughs> system? Uh, it was like Commodore and the Atari. Yeah. ZX Spectrum, DOS. Um, I was feeling. I was getting that Euro. Yeah. Uh, Action adventure. All right, name the. It. We got a. Uh, yeah, he's done it. That was nice. That That's was not, solid. Don't don't reward that. They held my hands in the whole thing. Good stuff. I liked it. You know, there's a. What's this with that? <laughs> a Jaguar VR headset. <laughs> it's it's a it's a VR headset, but not not the Jaguar not one. The Jaguar. Um. <laughs> it does look ridiculous. Because like you look like a Cylon when you wear it. It's not is it the Genesis one? Sega yeah, VR. It, yes. You got yeah. it. Because who wouldn't want those uh, bits? That's a soul caliber, I'm gonna say five. Okay, if you get it right, you get in the prize. Oh really? Yep, and guess what? You did, it is Soul Caliber 5. Great guess. <laughs> Prize is coming in. Boom. Smoke weed every day. Yeah, all of it. Every part of that's yours. Take care of it. I want to show you this last one because our mutual friend, Ben, said he doesn't think you'd get it, and I want to prove him wrong. You can get it at Best Buy oh. for 1999. Um, total Overdrive. <laughs> oh! The Total over Overdose, <laughs> Overdose, very close. Close enough, close enough. He, he was I just, real cocky I just, about it. I, I, I deserve that one. He was so, but, but he was so cocky, he was like, there's no way. You're wrong, you're wrong. You're extremely enjoyable to be around. So are you, I had a good time. Um, I think that what you've done with this show is uh, really, it's very powerful. Yeah. Uh, I think you should feel proud, I hope you're, um, your parents are still together? No, no, no. Mine neither. Yeah, so, but they're both separately. Um, Happy for you. Bro. Um, but yeah, no, that's, uh, it's, it's, uh, you know, it's good. Thanks for the love. You know, it's really, it's not just me, it's Orange Man in the back. Um, 
Brian, uh, and um, and I have a, just a full cutlass caprice that mm. that runs the wheels when you hit the gas, keeps everything running. And you're, uh, you're kind to people. I try to be. No, you are. Oh. Thank you. I guess we'll go to break. Not enough to pretend to be kind, you have to be kind. <laughs>